First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity, Shalom to the Aqua, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. And um, and say these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you should have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. You know, through this truth, you have stability. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. And we are in those times. You know, um, January 15th, which is what, three weeks away? That's that's really when it's about to get real. You know, New York, Cali, Boston, D.C., you know, like the major cities of the United States of America. You know, they're trying to push their agenda, you know, the mandates, you know, videos over the Internet showing people can't even get food in a restaurant, you know, because they don't got um, the proof of the juice. So, you know, but the Lord is telling you, you know, calm down, chill out. This got to happen. You know, I overcome the world. You believe in me. You know, so. Everything going to be all good. Because, look, it said that you're going to have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <clears throat> and these are the things that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah spoke to us. So it's like, you know, like I always say, it's time to pray for more faith. Pray for more perseverance to endure. You know, things may seem to not go your way. But overall, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah got us, but you have to believe it. You have to believe it. So, oops. It says, Ye are of the most high little children. And have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The scriptures say that our Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. He also say that he turned their hearts into whatsoever he pleases. So, you know, you got scriptures in Proverbs 16 talks about when your ways please the Lord, he even making your enemies be at peace with you. So you have to keep all these precepts in mind. And that's why the scripture says, blesses he that readeth. Because if you ain't watching videos, you should be reading. And if you ain't reading, you should be watching videos. See, the Lord have men out here that got the Holy Spirit on them. And they are teaching, man. They're feeding the flock. And you have to keep these precepts in your heart, man. Because when you go through things, precepts is the only thing that's going to get you through. And it says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear of them. Because you have people out here who are preaching worldly doctrines, basically telling you to bow down to Satan. All right? But the men of the Lord is separating himself. Rise ye up and depart, for this is not our rest. That's the mentality you're supposed to have. And it said, we are of the Most High. He that know of the Most High, hear of us. He that is not of the Most High, hear of not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So you're supposed to be able to discern through the word. Not because somebody is a great speaker. Not because somebody is more charismatic. Not because uh, these this group over here have more gimmicks. But... The word is supposed to resonate with you and gravitate towards you. And you're supposed to hear the words that are coming out of the men of the Lord's mouth. At the end of the day, the only thing that's going to save us is our faith. All right. Now faith is going to come down the line. Righteousness should be second nature. 
because you know that if you bow down to this man's system and the things that you want, that he wants you to do, that should be a no-no, all right? Faith is an action word, all right? So your faith is going to have to be tested, all right? The scripture talks about which I did last video. You know, we all going to be tested. You know, we all going to be tested, man. But the Lord said he will save you out of it. If you stand for him. Matter of fact. What is that? Uh, it says strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. So when you're standing in the danger of death, the Lord will fight for you. Some of us is going to have to take death. Some of us is going to get that standard that's going to stand up for us. As I say in Isaiah 59 and 19, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord shall set up a standard. Some of us going to get that power, man. And, but you have to believe all of this. You have to believe all of this. You can't believe some of it. You got to believe all of it. And if you believe all of it, you're going to be good. Death shouldn't even be like a, like I'm scared. You know, if you really hate your life, the scriptures talks about if you hate not your mother, father, brother, sister, children, even your own life, you cannot be my disciple. So, if you if you steady thinking about a way that you can save your life, then you're not a man of the Lord. You should be asking for the Lord to give you the spirit to take whatever comes upon you. <clears throat> for I say, woe be to the fearful heart and faint hands. In the center that go of two ways. Because <clears throat> you have to understand that the scriptures say that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you have one foot in the truth and one foot out. Yeah, the words, because you know the scriptures talks about how he would give the men of the Lord a mouth of wisdom. That the adversaries cannot gainsay nor resist. So when you out there speaking, you know, through the Holy Spirit. The word to people who, you know, it's, it, it sounds sweet. You know, the scriptures talks about how, you know, the word is sweet in our mouth is honey. But then when we swallow it, it get bitter. You know, the deepness of it and then the trials and tribulations that come with it. Right. So when you talking to people, Israelites who really don't know nothing, you know, they because most of us, majority of the nation of Israel lives a down and out life. So they finally hear something that's uplifting. Right. So it sounds good to them, but they don't never really come all the way into this thing because it's a burden. You know, they don't want to make no sacrifice. They, yeah, they want to be a child of the most high, but live like a nigga in the world. All right. Those are the people, the sinners that go two ways, one foot in, one foot out, lukewarm. All right. And then pick and choose what they like to believe in. And then the rest, like they pat, they cast it behind their back. You know, the Lord got something, got a special judgment for you. All right. And to say, woe to him that is faint hearted for he believe of not. Therefore, he shall not be defended. One of the scriptures that I always quote, because that's a time that we're coming into. So when they start saying you can't go into the grocery store, you can't do this, you can't do that until you get the juice shot. All right. If you get faint hearted and be like, oh, my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat when the scripture said that we're going to eat. He said, my servant shall eat. What is a servant, man? A one who do the will of his master. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. He told us what to do. Believe and do the work. If you're doing those things, then you should be, you should have, put it like this. If you're doing those things, then you should have confidence that the Lord is going to save you. All right? Because he's not a liar. He is not a liar. Everything that the apostles and elders have been preaching for years are finally coming to pass. All right. Like the elder, like my beloved elder always say, Elder Adama in Boston, he always say. <clears throat> when we've been preaching about this, when the prophecies wasn't as comely, 
You know, it wasn't as popular to be talking about the Karagma. It wasn't as popular to talk about martial law. It wasn't as popular to talk about, you know, Babylon the Great going to be destroyed. Now we see all these things. All right. We are in that time. So you if you want to be faint hearted and listen, we are in the flesh. So you have weaknesses, but that's why we have something called a throne of grace. That's why you're supposed to pray. You know what you lack. And if you lack it, you pray for it with faith and the Lord would give it to you. So if you want to be faint hearted, as the scripture said, you ain't going to be defended. And it said, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? How the Lord is going to visit you? By calamity and tribulation. All right. The scripture said that he would consume him by the spirit of his mouth. And then destroy him by the brightness of his coming. So before he comes, the men of the Lord is going to consume him with the spirit of his mouth. Through us preaching, that's why these prophecies is coming to pass. That's why men of the Lord are waking up every day. That's why when the elect is sealed from the four corners of the earth, then the end going to come. All right. But to you who know the truth, but you getting all, you know, you pussyfooting around. All right. You got your panties in a bunch because you're scared because now we finally in that time. You thought it wasn't going to happen. I guess we in that time, man. You lost patience. What were you going to do when the Lord visit you? He going to destroy you two times over because you knew the Lord's will. All right. But this is what's coming to the earth. This is why we don't have to fear. All right. The Lord is going to be exalted. Then Babylon's going to be destroyed. It say, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Scripture said, be not hasty in the time of trouble, right? Be still. Understand that the Lord is going to fight for us. We can't win without him. All right. You, you trying to take matter into your own hands. Speaking of the scripture that I just quoted, you know, be not hasty in the time of trouble. Because, you know, you make irrational decisions when you hasty. When you be still and let God do what he going to do, you step out on faith. He going to work for you. You know, you you start getting hungry. You start uh, you start allowing the flesh overcome your mind. And you be like, fuck it, man. Shit, I got I to gotta eat because I got to do what I got to do. That's to a person who, whoa, who lost patience. Who is to say that the Lord might test you that way? You may not have to, may not eat for a day fast. All right. Just because you hungry for 24 hours, I'm going to just give up. Man, it don't look like, it don't look like the Lord coming, man. We got to do something. Like, all right. Be still and know. All right. That Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai is a power of salvation. All right. To those who believe in him. But he said he will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh hosts is with us, Israel. The power of Jacob is our refuge. He's our safe haven. All right. We be saved through the name. All right. So after all this come to pass, tribulation coming in the world, wiping away our tears, you know, at the end of this, at, uh, uh, at the end of this thing. All right. This is what's going to happen. This is the end game. So many scriptures considering, you know, what. Um, oops. So many scriptures considering what I'm about to read right here, but I want to get the one in Ezekiel. So saying, thus save the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O Zidon. I will, I will be glorified in the midst of thee. And they should know that I am Yahweh when I have executed my judgments in her and shall be sanctified in her. What is the judgments? All the things that's about to come to pass. The uproars of the people. All right. Martial law. Uh, people fighting with swords in their hands. Sedition among men. All right. These mandates. All this is of the Lord. The Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right. Man's goings is of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Zidon is another <clears throat> another name for Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Why 
do the Lord call this place Egypt and Babylon and Tyre and Sidon because they take on the philosophies of, of those ancient kingdoms. All right. <clears throat> so you have to understand that when you read these scriptures, the scriptures don't contradict itself. It's just written in code. But if you have the eye salve and the Holy Spirit, it's simple. For I was sent into her pestilence and blood in her streets. That's what's coming. But we're going to be saved out of it. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side. And they shall know that I am Yahweh. See, I love scriptures when it say, and then they shall know that I am Yahweh, man. Because that's what's coming to the earth. And then you're going to know who is the Lord chosen, as it says in 2 Ezra 16. All right. And to say that there should be no more pricker briars unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving stone of all that are round about them. All right. So there ain't going to be no more nations afflicting pain, putting up stumbling blocks, separating us from our power, oppressing us. He's taking that away. All right. And they should know that I am the Lord Yahweh. All these things have to come to pass for us to be glorified. And it say, thus say the Lord, Yahweh, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered and shall be sanctifying them in the sight of the heathen, then they shall dwell in their land that I have given to my circle Jacob. All right. When you go to Isaiah 14 and say that the Lord himself is going to set us in our land. So those imposter Jewish, they're not the people. They don't fit prophecy. All right. And it's saying they shall dwell safely therein and shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yeah, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them around about them. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. All right. So after all the trials and tribulations that we're about to enter into, this is what happens in the end. The same place that had us in captivity is going to be destroyed and it's not going to be inhabited no more. And then the Lord is going to lift up us up among the heathen. And let's end it on this scripture. This is the end game after everything we've been through. All right. And it say, therefore, all they that have devoured, these shall be devoured. All the adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they and they that shall spoil thee, and they that shall, ah, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So that's what you call payback. That's what you call reap what you sow. So you don't have to worry, man. The victory is already written. This is the victory mindset part two. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.